Cracking the sound barrier in the X-1 marked another milestone in aviation history. The time, October 14, 1947. The place, Air Force Flight Test Center at Mura, California. The pilot, Captain Chuck Yeager. Captain Yeager was selected to test the top performance of this rocket-propelled research vehicle. He found it to be a sleek and sturdy aircraft designed by Bell to fly faster than the speed of sound. The X-1 holds 5,020 pounds of fuel, nearly one half of its total weight when launched. The delicate process of fueling takes one hour. The rocket engine propellant is made up of liquid oxygen and water alcohol, the latter being pressurized by gaseous nitrogen. Great caution must be exercised during the fueling operation since the fuel system in the X-1 has an explosive potential equal to that of its own weight in TNT. In the rocket blast, sonic beads can be seen during this test firing of the engine. A special electrical igniter is used in the combustion chambers to fire the rockets. With all four rocket tubes firing, the X-1 will produce a thrust of 6,000 pounds. The engine occupies a space 19 inches in diameter by 56 inches long and weighs but 210 pounds. A special pit has been constructed into which the X-1 is lowered for loading into the B-29 mothership. This bomber has been specially modified for aerial launchings of the X-1. Due to close clearances, the loading procedure takes a considerable amount of time. The X-1 is suspended by fabric straps with cable holders. After many months of planning, testing and preparation, the X-1 becomes airborne on its first attempt to exceed the speed of sound. A climb must be made to 30,000 feet to reach drop altitude. While the B-29 with the X-1 ascends to altitude, radar goes to work tracking the mission. The aircraft's flight data will be telemetered to the ground crew throughout the flight. The B-29 has now reached drop altitude. The time for release is drawing near. For high altitude flight, Captain Yeager wears an emergency pressure suit as he enters the cockpit of the X-1. A manually operated elevator provides safe access for the pilot before the drop. With the checkout of the launching procedure completed between Captain Yeager and the crew of the B-29, synchronized timing begins. Five, four, three, two, one, drop. Scores of people connected with the X-1 flight program have expected the aircraft to surpass the speed of sound, and maybe this is it. With all four rockets firing, Jaeger climbs to 56,000 feet in less than two minutes. And he does it, the first human to crack the sound barrier. Now with propellant exhausted, Jaeger reduces his speed and altitude to come in for a dead stick landing at 160 miles per hour. At this hot landing speed, the X-1 rolls for more than two and one half miles. And one of the Air Force's best known flight test pilots has just set the pace for further research in upper air investigation. 
This flight marks the first milestone in the supersonic chapter in the history of aviation. And you were there. <laughs>